This is Clash Hub, where we're all things clash. Today, we're going to take a look at Kasai. If you're not familiar with Kasai, let's just walk you through what her tech says. If you draw a card this turn, your sword attacks cost one less to activate. Once per turn, banish two red and two yellow cards from your graveyard. The next time a weapon you control hits a hero this turn, create a gold token. Go again. Okay. What we have on here for our equipment suite, it's all fairly straightforward. It's all pretty standard. I don't think we're going to have any surprises. We are limited in Clash to common and rare equipment only. So here we have Centauri Saber is our first thing. We have Hot Streak on here. Most of the time you're going to attack with Hot Streak into Centauri Saber. Um, for our head, we have the new head Hood of Red Sand. Block one, it's not the greatest block in the world, but it does have the ability, it is battle worn, and it does have the ability to pay one on an attack reaction, banish red and yellow, and you get to draw a card if your sword hits, if your weapon hits. Deep blue, um, that's just there for if we get stuck with two reds in our hand, we can put one on the bottom, we can still do stuff on our turn. Gallantry gold, great for combo turns, refraction bolters, once again, lets us fix some stuff when we need to get off a hit. One new thing in here is the High Striker. High Striker is what's going to allow us to get off our Blood on Our Hands combo. Warriors of Valor. Warriors of Valor with Hot Streak is an MVP. What it does is it buffs Hot Streak up. If they block an attack reaction, fully block it out, it gets going up. If they don't, it hits, it gets going up. Like you're basically putting them in a bad position. The only time that this doesn't work is, say, like Wizard or something like that. Blood on our hands. This is our combo piece. You want to put the last two modes on each weapon. I actually find that putting the plus two on the Centauri Saber, just put both counters in Centauri Saber, works the best. So what you're trying to do though is pair this up with a gold token. And if you can get cash in, even better. Cash in in this deck kind of works with three of the kind that it did in Lexi. So the three of a kind you can block with your hand, play three of a kind, allows you to draw back up. Here you go. Same idea. Block with their hand, keep your cash in, destroy your gold, draw up two cards. You can do a lot with that. And once you do that, your swords are free. So when you combine that with blood on their hands, all of a sudden my swords are free. I have two extra cards. I can manipulate my resources a little bit better and I can just go and all my swords have to go again. Those two combined are perfect. Raise an army, that's just more of in there. It's a yellow, potentially we might get it, but more than likely, you're not actually getting it. In, in our deck, gold is the payoff. Raise an army is not the payoff. Gold to draw to make our swords free, to keep going, that's our payoff. Two inventory slots, Oasis, Respite, and Sink Below. I actually find I like Sink Below in there. A lot of times I'll pull out one of my Outland Skirmish or Slice and Dice. You kind of make that decision um, based off of what you want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a game and walk through what this deck looks like. We are going against Azalea. This is probably going to be prevalent in the Clash meta. I did do one quick switch out. I did put in Sync Below to be able to de-react from the arsenal. Here I'm trying to decide Precision, Press, or Blade Flash. We are going to decide on the Blade Flash and pitch the precision press. As you can see, Zelly didn't block, didn't want to give me go again. I'm gonna arsenal that sink below. My assumption is going to be Azalea is going to dominate, so I need to be able to get that sink below out. plays the knock to death whistle, gets the bread and ledger up there, immediately does it. So I know right now I made the correct decision. She got to dominate, but she's gonna get really high. So I'm really happy that sink blow is in there. But now we have scout the periphery as well. Eleven dominate coming in. I'm not gonna be able to block this. I just need to figure out. I need to figure out how do I get around this. So we're gonna have to block for three. 
We are going to block with the sink below. That is only going to be seven. I'm seeing if I can maybe add in armor to stop it, but no, I can only block a maximum of 10. So I'm going to have to take this no matter what. I need to be okay with that though. We're going to block, so then we're going to just try to get some damage in and set up our next turn. Block with blood on our hands. I have another one in there. I like all of my cards. So we're going to sink below. I do want to sink something because I definitely need to get something under there try and see what I can get. All right, and I got Outland Skirmish. Not terrible, but what this allows me to do now is I'm gonna attack. I can pay off that Blood Pox, so that's important. I'm just gonna attack with Hot Streak and pass. I'm not gonna give it go again. Um, technically, I really should attack with Centauri Sabers. I didn't but I did pitch that away because Satari Sabres will give me the plus one attack action. I'm not fooling anyone by saying I'm going to get to go again with Hot Streak, right? Read the Glide Path. He's going to get set up. I'm probably going to get dominated again. So I need to be very careful here how I do this. He's looking at his top card. He's trying to decide, do I want to put it under or do I want to keep it on top? All right, so it's coming in infecting shot for seven. I'm going to block with Raisin Army. I will block with the sink below. I'm assuming they don't have any attack reactions. More than likely, Azalea doesn't. Like, usually what you see is what you get, but you, you never know. You might get surprised here and there. All right, so now we're going to play High Striker. Our goal here is we want the six copper tokens. We are going to play uh, Kasai because we need a gold and six copper and that'll set us up for our combo whenever it shows up. So coming in with Hot Streak. What you see is what you get here, pretty much. So it's gonna be, hey, Hot Streak, don't block. Okay, take two. I'm gonna give myself go again. I am going to hit. I'm gonna get my gold. I'm gonna get my six copper. And then I'm just gonna swing in Centauri for four. You might not want to block. This is Azalea. She doesn't love heavy blocking. So you want to force her into a way where it's like, hey, do you want to give me a card or not? Now, I know she's got a full grip, five cards. Like, this is going to be a crazy turn for her. So I know immediately, like, hey, I just need to live and let's see what I can get. I do have a gold token. I have a cash in. I can block with my whole hand, play cash in draw a couple cards so I do know I have this but with dominate this is going to be scary yep dominate right on the ledger coming in at me for 10 so I'm not getting out of this this is going to be like hey I'm not getting out of this I will block as much as I can and then we're gonna go I do have an iron song response though so this iron song response will allow me to have some sort of attack reaction on my turn so I'm gonna block with everything I'm just trying to mitigate as much damage as possible I'm not going to get out of this. It's just going to, they're going to hit me hard. And so I need to decide like, hey, how do I want to pull this off? Okay, so I do switch blocks and I'm going to take seven. The reason I'm doing this is because seven damage now versus three damage isn't that much compared to how much damage she can do later on. So I want to keep that armor for later. I'm not doing anything crazy here. I swing in with Centauri Saber. If they don't block, I go, okay, not going to block. I don't get to do any of this. It is all going on the bottom because of the token that they gave me. So I have to decide like, okay, 
which one is it? Which one do I want to put on the bottom? All right, Zayla's coming in. She's breaking her blossom. She's coming in for death dealer. That makes me scared. As soon as I see blossom breaking, it's like, okay, they're gonna come in hard and they have some crazy stuff. So I see, whew, gonna come in hard. We gotta dominate. We got a plus two plus three effects, I believe. So that's a six on that. So it's coming in for a lot, 11. And this right here is why I kept my armor because I knew that there was going to be a play in the future that I wasn't going to be able to able to take. So I put in my armor. <laughs> I get a frailty. I get a blood pox. He's going to swing with that. I have to block here, right? There's nothing that I can do here. I am going to block for three and I'm going to take three because remember when Searing Shot hits, it's going to deal me an extra damage. It's coming for two. I'm going to go down to one. All you need to do in order to win is one. I do have a frailty token. I do have a blood pox. So this is going to be tricky. I'm pitching that away. I get to draw a card. All right, that's good. My worry here is dying to blood pox. So I'm going to break it. I'm going to pay six. I'm going to do all six modes. Now, one of the most important things to do here, though, is we're going to put two plus one counters on the Centauri Saber. The reason why we're going to do this is because Hot Streak on plus three, that's an easy block. Centauri Saber at four, that's a little bit better, right? So we're going to swing twice with our Hot Streak. Well, let's do our Kasai ability real fast because we can do it. Let's swing twice with a Hot Streak. That's going to be two and two. So what I'm saying is give me a card for two or take two damage, right? We break the sword. I am going to buff it up to three, which is really two because of the frailty. That's what we're trying to do. We basically, we broke country gold to counteract the frailty token. So I get my gold. I'm going to hot streak again because they all have go again. We will pitch it. We'll get another gold. Okay. I wish we had that cash in earlier, but we still have um, a plus one to, to you know, two more to get the blood pox out. That was a risky move. Like that right there was an incredibly risky move. What I was looking for there is I was looking for a D react or yellow. So I'm looking for D react to say, Hey, block me and I'm going to come in and I have one floating so that I ha you have to commit so much in order to get out. So I know I have three. They're going to have to do extra. I'm going to hit in for one. If I had a attack, or sorry, an attack reaction, if I had an attack reaction here, I could play against this and she's dead. We're trying to set up. We could have absolutely been screwed by getting a red in there. So that was a very risky play, but it was a very calculated risky play based off of what we had in there. We do keep our plus one on our Centauri Saber because it's the same turn. So there we go. We're going to say, no, we're not going to break it. We are going to uh, pass. We're going to pitch our two for our cash in. And yes, we want to do that. He has no cards. I'm set up. I'm fully in the range now. So at this point, Azalea is trying to say, hey, if you get messed up, I'm going to go. So I'm going to play my Warriors Valor. Trying to give my sword top notch value is essentially what I'm, I'm looking at. go back we're actually thinking about this so instead of pitching for it i'm trying to figure out like okay i don't have a i don't have a blue so I, this can't be super easy so i'm going in for five saying hey block with two cards you don't know what i have so giving me judge during execution i love seeing that so i do have go again i am gonna swing I'm going to swing with Centauri Saber. I'm giving the it five again. And what I'm saying to her is, give me a card. I'm taking both of your cards every single time. 
time. So while I could have held back, that gives her a chance to keep one more card. So we're looking at this again, going like, okay, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna hot streak. Let's pitch our blade flash. We wanna get rid of that. We're not gonna see that again this game. You're gonna have to block. If you block, I'm gonna get go again. So the Azalea does have access to a lot of two block that are not attacks. And that's okay. Like we're saying, hey, either give us go again or I'm gonna give myself go again, but you're giving me a card no matter what. On the next turn, next swing, you're gonna give me two cards because I'm gonna Blade Runner it or I'm gonna Outland Skirmish. There it is. We're gonna pitch that. We got one floating. So now we're gonna come in for four. But first, let's Outland Skirmish, then come in for four. Come in for six, excuse me, because I wanna take all of your cards. You block an attack action, I'm getting plus one, which means I'm going to seven, which means I'm taking everything from you. Okay, same thing. We're just we're just gonna try to keep her on her toes. So we're gonna swing with hot streak. And then we're saying, okay. How are you going to block this? If you're going to block it and not give me more cards, I'm just going to, I'm just going to come in for three. So I remember if they block from hand, I have to draw a card and then do it. So that's all I was doing was I was having to choose, okay, which one do I want to do there? It is a good game. Now what we were trying to do there is basically just get through her turns up stopping me from getting go again and everything so we're trying to keep consistency up there as you can see there kasai can do that she can get across if she needs to think that kasai long term has a place in this meta we watched azalea hit us with turn after turn with dominates and controlling us and we were able to kind of shift around that try to get what we can out of it and then turn the tables life is a resource use that to your advantage so you can set up your blood on your hands turn and then finish it off